Hi, in this demonstration I'm going to give you an overview of the Prospect tools and show you why we think they're the most powerful and easy to use around. Whenever you open Prospect for SketchUp, the first thing that you'll see is the Prospect welcome screen. It's good practice just to ensure that your version is up to date because we release up to four major updates per year and these are filled with new tools, new features, improvements and user requests. And the best part is they're free for you to update to and they will only take a moment of your time. We are also continuously releasing new and free tutorials to help you get good fast, whether they be for beginner users, intermediate or advanced. We also have tool specific tutorials. So if you have a question about a tool, simply open it and left click on the question mark to the upper right. Our competitors let you draw virtually with a 3D pencil. But with Prospect, you have a virtual builder. Let's call him Bob. When you draw a wall, it's as if Bob has built it for you and it's filled with information, which is BIM, building information modeling. But it's also virtual design and construction because it's filled with structural information, which is totally under your control. This goes to a new and exciting level of detail. And this is why Prospect is the perfect balance between design and construction. After all, God is in the details. At Plusbeck, we know that as a designer or an architect, you're going to make hundreds of design changes throughout the course of a project. And therefore, it's incredibly important that you're able to very quickly and easily edit and adjust anything that you have previously drawn. With Plusbeck, you never have to delete anything and you never have to redraw it because everything is controlled via information and attributes. So, for example, when you're drawing a wall, you know that you're specifying a wall and Prospect just wants to know what the wall height will be, what construction type you want to use and other level of detail information. Now although you can go into an incredibly high level of detail you can also keep it simple and you can come back at any time and adjust anything anyway. If you're very early in the design phase such as the schematic design and you don't know what kind of construction type you want to use, you don't want to hazard a guess and you want to keep it simple, then you can even just simply draw a solid wall, nominate uh, an overall thickness and, and you'll note that I'm using metric but uh, you can use the imperial settings if you like and then you can simply draw. With Pospec you just need to left click and you can see that when you start drawing it tells you the external and internal side of your walls and then you can either type in actual dimensions or just left click to place. I'm just going to keep this very simple and draw a box or a rectangle. As you can see it has drawn my walls to my specified height and thickness. Now at any time I can right click on these walls and I can select them all and then I can simply just edit them. Imagine that I've progressed my design and I now am starting to want a higher level of detail. I know what materials and what construction type I want to use. For example, the masonry veneer. I can then go into even higher level of details for the virtual design and construction aspect. And I'm able to, to decide what kind of timber or lumber or steel that I want to use, as well as the spacing and other framing information. I can also go into my materials and selections and here I can assign real products from real manufacturers or I can use generic ones or I can even create my own. At Prospect we emphasize the use of real products from real manufacturers because obviously the information means something. It will also mean that you can automatically create your specifications as well as you'll be using products at the right time and in the right place. This will mitigate error and oversight. When you're ready you just press submit and you'll notice that all of your walls automatically adjust. They are changed to the material and the products that you've selected and this shows you that you can continuously change what you've drawn. Once you've drawn your walls they're, they're flexible. You never have to redraw them. You can push and pull them and re-sculpt them. Um, I'm drawing in 3D mode and we find that the vast majority of our users eventually design in 3D mode because it is the only CAD system that you can actually use as a design tool. Why? Because you can analyze your building in 2D orthogonal views such as your ground floor plan, your elevations, etc. and sections. But you're then able to see it as almost a physical model. You're seeing form, function and feel 
as you're making those decisions. However, if you prefer, you can still design in 2D format um, because everything that you're drawing is getting updated simultaneously. To change your viewing mode, simply click on the scene that you want to be on, for example, ground floor plan. And now you're in traditional 2D orthogonal view. Plospec is the ultimate sculpting tool, which again ties into the ability to design. You can split your walls, you can push and pull them, and they maintain their connections because they're intelligent and they know how they need to interact. For example, extending the walls. Let's do another cut. You can insert windows and doors and you can go to an incredibly high level of detail. You can use real products or generic ones, but you can come back at any time and adjust them. You can also choose from all of the different kind of window and door options. When you place them, they cut through your wall, but they also adjust your framing and they're starting to build your 3D details. You can see that there's a suggested lintel over that window. If I draw a slightly bigger one to the side, you'll see that it will update it with a suggested larger lintel. And you can adjust these depending on your local requirements or advice from your structural engineer. Let's place a door. As per the window, you can choose from all of the different options, press submit, and then simply place it. All of the windows and doors are operable, which means you can open and close them. You can change the handing or the swing, however you like. And this is very powerful. Uh, first and foremost, you can show your clients and they can understand uh, what a window is and how it will work. But they're also used for clash detection to ensure that they're not going to accidentally hit, for example, a door hitting a toilet and so forth. If you go into structure mode, you'll be able to analyze your 3D details and you can see that everything is getting updated simultaneously. If I go back to all, I can delete something that I've drawn previously, for example, the, that window, and my frame and everything will have adjusted with it. Plusbeck makes the complex things easy, such as roofs and floors. Let's start with a floor. I can actually simply right click on a wall and just generate a floor. Once I've done that, I can choose what I want to use. Do I want to use a concrete slab or would I like to use a floor joist? Let's do a slab. Again, you can go into a, a very high level of detail. You can even uh, assign your footing information and your materials and press submit. As you can see, your slab is now in place, your footing is there, and I can see that I even need to drop down my external brick leaf so it sits on my footing. And you can do that very easily. Simply select them all and then edit them. And as you can see, it's just a constant editing process. You're never redrawing or deleting anything. You're just updating them. And as you're doing it, everything is getting updated. Your detailing, your 2D plans, your 3D perspectives. So you can understand your design. Let's do a roof. With Pospec, you can generate any kind of roof. You can create pitched roofs, mono-pitched roofs, flat roofs, any roof you can imagine. Again, you can go into any construction type and a very high level of detail. You can also choose real products and materials, and when you're happy, you just press submit, and Pospec does the work for you. And as you can see, it can create any roof within a couple of seconds. If you go back into structure, you can even analyze the roof framing, or you could change this to trusses. At the click of a button you can analyze your project costs and ensure that's going to meet your client's budget. Simply click on the takeoff tool. As you can see every single thing that you've drawn with Plusbeck is quantified and you can also control the costs. Although what I drew for you was very simple, you can create any design of any complexity. And the best part is it's building information modeling. It has the information. You can adjust it at any time as your design progresses. And it's a virtual design and construction. 
So it's holding those 3D details and 2D details inside of the model, for example. What better way to actually detail the project? Although I've given you a quick overview of some of our tools, there's so many more that I haven't shown you. 